All right, yes, uh, it's cold and wet out there, but it's a beautiful day. I must say, this Monday, the eleventh day of the ninth month, year 2017, in America, they will say 911. For those of you who follows events, international history, that is the day in which diplomacy and international security changed after that attack, a double attack in the United States of America. The world will and may never be the same in terms of security uh, following that attack. You are welcome. Yes, this is the Daybreak Show on Rock City 101.9 FM here in the city of Abekuta. It's about 16 minutes gone past the hour of 9 and we are starting our Citizens Forum this morning. The Yoruba Agenda. Well, exactly what does that mean? It's not really new. We've been consistent. We, as uh, Yorubas, uh, or Yorubas, have been consistent in terms of what they've asked for. In other words, some people will say since 1952, the Mafasi Constitution, the Yorubas had a position which has become very difficult for anybody to change. They agreed to delay independence in 1960, and since then till today, it's neither be here nor there in terms of straightening up standing as one country and for every year, every regime that comes in, the story of restructure or what or how Nigeria should be or look like continues to change. As we speak, just last week, the Yorubas met last week. They dropped political agenda, they dropped different cultural organizations. It came under the umbrella of the Yorubas, wherever you are, met in Ibadan and reiterated that position of restructure will be. That was a suggestion which is key, germane, and worthy of discussion. It should it be back to 1963 Republican? Should it be back to the Western Nigeria system? Should regionalism be adopted and will it work? What is Yoruba looking for in this position? Some Northern elders have also said all this call agitation for separatism, restructure, and self-independence are all Yoruba agenda. And Yorubas will say we are the most sophisticated of all the tribes in the country. I will know how to get to where we are going and what we really want. Is it true or false? We'll be looking at the Yoruba agenda, the position of Yorubas after the Ibadan meeting, a fallout from it. Dele Ayodo is my name. And I have with me, yes, this time around, we will standing an elder statesman, a member of the Yoruba Council of Elders and Disability, so, and uh, a member of the Federal Republic, MFR Justice Demola Bakri, MFR. Good morning, Justice. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, <coughs> quickly, it would be uh, interest many of my listeners to let us know uh, exactly. Uh, yes, your boss never hitting that their position of restructure, restructure, uh, restructure, but. People have accused the Yorubas of saying there's an undertone to that. And I've said many of these agitations outside the Yoruba region, uh, even Yoruba agenda itself, the sit down and look style, and then firming the fire from somewhere. Is Yoruba right to ask for restructure this time? Some people have even outside the country have said we are the most sophisticated. And if you look at development, you are the most coherent. Are we justified to call for any restructure? Well, I've always answered the question. They say, What do you mean by restructure? Some people have said they don't even understand it. And I said simply, if you change your door to a window in your house, you have restructure. So we are talking of change in system. And it cannot be absolute. It has to be here and there, bit by bit. That's why when you say the Yoruba are unrealistic, I mean, I, as far as I am concerned, I think it's a realistic request and it's a possibility, not mere probability. It's a possibility. If you look at it, we had the Western region. Then 
After agitation and plebiscite, Midwest went. They created the Midwest. Then the army came in 66 and the Rosie unified the whole country. And from that, 79 constitution, 99 constitution still retain the unification. Call it federalism, which is not. We're having a unity government. Everybody has to go cap in hand, I mean, cap in hand to Abuja to go and beg for money to run their state. If you have no money in your state, then go bankrupt. So I believe that the structuring is, is, is exactly asked for by the Yorubas. And not only the Yorubas, you can see that the South South and the South East have the same view. And I'm sure that the Middle Belt in the North have said, we are not Northerners, we are Middle Belt. These things call for a revisiting. And you cannot be rigid in managing human beings. Nigeria is managing human beings. And change is the order of the day. There must be a change. Just Bakri, specifically, we want to be talking and looking at Yoruba's position and our agenda now. Of course, we cannot uh, talk about it in isolation, I agree. But sincerely, the Yorubas, can we say they have not played a major role in the existing governance of Nigeria post independent, post civil war, Awula war, played a major role, had the opportunity, was in the forefront. The early military age, Olusheg Mwabasanjo played a major role. He was a major actor and had good opportunity or opportunities. And of course, the 1999 to today democracy, the Yorubas cannot say they have not had good opportunities and have not played a major role in doing this. If we had all these opportunities and we did not do anything, is it not then hypocritical? that now that some people are saying to be against the north that is why we are joining them and that makes some elders they do not feel it is the Yorubas who are funding December are they not right i think we should redefine this topic we are talking about when you say you want to restructure are you going the west alone or the whole of the country what do you mean by destruction? We have to define that first before we can go to the uh, what somebody feels about it or not. When you are having a change, it cannot be absolute. Some of you have to see it on one angle. It's a matter of balancing. When you take any particular topic you're talking about, you have to balance the views. You have to look at it from what does A mean, what does B mean? And let us come back to what do we mean by destruction? Because of the way you are putting it is rather wide for me. Don't Confined to Yoruba people. What the Yorubas are asking for is let's all structure this country. What do we mean by structuring? That's where I'm going to compare. Uh, that, that's the point. The the recipe for restructure, yes. calling on government to go back to regionalism. Yes. I mean, before now the Southwest region, mm -hmm. mainly the Yorubas have had working cooperation. They will both set up different committees. And for each meeting up to the last one. No Yoruba governors were part of that. That, 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 that. Those are the things that are opening up this suspicion from mainly the North about the Yorubas. Saying that the North is opposed to you, I'm simply saying that it's a conjecture. The reality is that if we restructure, and we're saying it about the West, and it's not only regionalism that is the important thing. At the moment, every money is gathered to the, to the federal and redistributed. The structuring means that keep your resources. Contribute to maintain the federal. That's what your mama, your mama is saying. The regional police. You see, at the moment, we are talking of federal constitution. 79, go and look, look at it. 99, look at it. As far as I describe them as uh, documentary monsters. They're just there heavily descending on the people. When that takes all this, what is happening? And I've said it to you know, some quarters. Our problem is that we are not civilized enough for the document we want to operate. Majority of Nigerians don't even know what you call constitution. And these are the people they are going to rule. And we are seeing 
For example, we have what they call native administration in those days. And in native administration, it means that you, people, you have your election from the locality, the people that they know. At the moment, insurgents come from Abuja. And except we go back to this regionalism, regionalism that we call it, either zones or states or region, what we are seeing is that, for example, we are searching already. We now have six zones, whether you want it or not. South South meets. South we can, South. We not, we, you said, are you saying we cannot have six zones? We have, we already have okay, it. Not, yes, but but actually, that, 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 that's the issue because if your buyers are advocating for the structure mm -hmm. under the regions, mm -hmm. how are we going to achieve that balance? Let's look at the Southwest itself. Where will the political the headquarters be? Who will agree? Who will govern uh, those things? Not to talk of other regions that are not as uh, in terms of the tribal uh, uh, natural unity, homogeneity. Not have the homogeneity, the southeast, the south south. How can those ones remain as one region? I'm surprised that you are looking at it from that angle, talking about where shall we have the headquarters? We all know that national headquarters is bad for the West. It is I think the southwest of today. Hold on, was hold on. Yeah, well, hold on. We had it in Lagos for the whole of the country. Heaven did not fall. And Dr. Abuja, in his wisdom, suggested Abuja make it more central. If we have a I researched mean, country, whether Abuja is capital, London is all central. <laughs> for now, the development has gone outside that. The issue of heavy equators, things have gone so easy now. Technology has improved every relationship. You can sit down and talk to the person. Blah, blah, okay. You see him, look at him on the telephone, on your on your computer and everything. So yeah, but but, but that's the case that where everybody <laughs> cries of marginalization. Just so good state, there are cries of marginalization. I'm sure that is the way we have it in all the other five southwest states. So if you now say it is one region, how do we achieve coherence? I said to you, there are elements that you don't push aside. How civilized are we? How educated are we? How enlightened are our people? These are the issues that have to be considered. And uh, this unity system makes it worse. If you are regionalized, you can do a lot of things within and convey it to the others. They might copy you. Yoruba, the, the West, let me say Yoruba. We have started with free education. Others saw the benefit in, in it. If everybody is fairly educated, they can appreciate a lot of things. Go and talk to a stack in Italy, he will run away. Come, he will run away. But when they are enlightened, is seen cinemas, is seen vehicle, is seen motorcycle, these things are no longer strange to him. When I was young, some over 70 years ago in the Empire Day, we were taken to Ikeja to go and see our planes land and how they take off. That was what we have at the Empire in 1942. It is not so these days. Everybody knows there's an airport, airport, there are aerodromes. You see? And I have found that the states, when the, when the state was created, I was in the West. It became a war between them. The Odo man did not see an Oyo man as his friend. Oyo did not see Oguman as his friend. These things cause division. We now say, when they are together, look, they will look at things uh, globally, and they will know that there's not, not much difference among Nigerians, but that their background has to be considered. For example, I am here, even I mean, I'm in Abeokuta, the Yewa man says, I'm not a Gado, a Gaudo. These are matter of semantics, whether they are a Gado or a Gaoke. They are still not a class as such. They are different in dialect. But these are these are minor things that we must know that it is the politicians that exploit it. They exploit it. And in any country, it is done in any country. Politicians take advantage of whatever they can they can spread to make their people vote for them. And the Yewa man says, Oh yes, how many people do we have there? If the Awuri man has 
89% educated people. And the woman has 39% educated people. Obviously, they are bringing some mediocre to represent Yewa because, but after some time, this will close up. And what we are saying now is that if you restructure, what do you mean? Okay, six countries in one. All right, we call them regions, we call them zones. Now, our fiscal measures, our currency, our health arrangement. Are you saying that the diseases that exist in the south? exist in the north there are some that are peculiar but if you restructure they can take things together i am only saying this the yoruba manner has an advantage we are more homogeneous than the other undoubtedly but this is a natural creation not our, our own cre uh, creation now go to the east there's no need stopping them creating a lingua franca there's no stopping them. even in the north General Bali told me several years ago that what he called Benny Plato then had more than 250 languages, not dialects. If Obama didn't create that, if Obama didn't create it, it is natural creation. And these are not mere varieties, they are distinct languages. What can you do about that? Are you saying because of that we should completely separate? Well, you see that the average northerner, take it from Kuala upwards, is able to catch some Hausa. What are we doing to spread Hausa as lingua franca? What are we doing to make Yoruba speak? If any woman doesn't want, want you to hear his language, he will speak, he won't hear. So I just know that let us have these divisions. It will cost less in administration. You, you remember those days, we used to have residents, district officers. It worked. It's less expensive. And now that there's technology, I believe that if we restructure in that system, it's likely to be better for Nigeria than what it is today. Uh, now, that takes you, you've talked about homogeneity and part of the three sketches are looking at that will create problem we need to address before this also remains what to address homogeneity. For instance, because we are talking about Europe, which one are we going to adopt or use? Is it the Western region or is it the Yorubas? If you say the Western region, where will our boundary be? Is it the 1960 boundary of the Western region? If you say the Yorubas is what we adopt, the Yorkan people, even to the Ilorin Yorubas, how are we going to solve this when we already have the proliferation of these regions? When you have not got to a bridge, you cannot cross it. When you get to the bridge, you cross it. Yeah, but these are obvious uh, issues that... They are, not, they are not obvious. They are being created by people who are opposed to structuring and restructuring. You see, there are many advantages that... It, when you take a position, you examine the advantages and disadvantages. There is nothing that is absolutely right. There is nothing that is absolutely wrong. It's a matter of minor minor adjustment and giving and taking. You see, when you are together, even twins behave differently. When you are together, you must give and take. You must accommodate some people's faults. You must appreciate their qualities. You see? Some people like to eat their yam with their not oil. Some like what you call ikete and ikumu. See, these are the things you have to look at. That there's no absolutism in life. You cannot be absolute. You have to be able to adjust, tolerate, and accommodate. So, and I believe that I had worked in the Western region, I had worked in the Western state. I see that we can develop evenly if we, we, have, we see what is good in the other man and you copy it. Somebody was saying this morning that. The governors should not go to send it because they are all rogues. How can you condemn everybody outright? I mean, you see, you see, and I, as a criminologist, I look at it. You must prove your reasonable doubt because you condemn the person. So you go, you know, that's why I'm telling you that we have to look at this issue of restructuring. What does it involve? Is it just having the regions? No. Are we going to have common currency or not? There are some things that have to be common in one Nigeria. I don't believe 
in breaking Nigeria. I believe in having Nigeria managed by smaller units than 36 states, 36 and a half states already. Already some state cannot pay salary. We are spending too much money on administration. What I'm looking at from that angle is, well, there are so many things we can do that can be can be improved. Uh, um, even the structure that we have on the ground itself. When you when we came here in '76, Augusta was not like this. Today, Augusta is a, is a different, different country, a part of the country altogether. So is Oyo. I happen to have gone to school in a good part of Nigeria. I went to school in about three places in Oyo, and today go to Olodo. It's already Olodo is already part of Ibadan. By the time you get to Darugbo, it's twelve miles away from Ibadan. Now you will not know. So that's and if it means if there are one region, this thing can still be done by a governor. And I said to myself in the paper that I wrote, it depends upon the way our governors want to help. In six zones now, six states now, making one region, for example, Western region, we had six governors, six deputy governors. Are we going to retain this? Are we going to call them residents? Call them district officers? Are we going to have one governor and five deputies? Or one governor and one deputy and these are possibilities if you want to be liberal and be tolerant and want development one governor one deputy for a session or two another old state produces and these are money sorry sir it's getting crazy let me get you on that side of the because let's try to suppose so how will this work just like that you talked about district officers president officers how would all those works you just mentioned governors and deputies. So how are we going to have them no, settle what, down? What I'm saying, is, what I'm saying is this. If you sit down and look at the issue of the submit the papers and trade the pros and the cons. For example, I take West for example. The old West is now six states, including Lagos. Alright? We have six governors now. We have six deputies. We can say, well, one governor, five deputies. Deputies come from the other region that is good. That the okay, so it is the deputy that will stay in each of what we have stayed as states. Yes, yes. That is where we, are, where we want to be selfish. Otherwise, we want to spend less money on it. There's a governor, there's a deputy from two old states. That before, they are not affected. When these two are leaving office, whether one term or two terms, obviously, they should not contest for this post. They should not contest Of it. course, of course. How do we get them in? No, if if they are there, example, if Ogun produces the governor for the first time, and okay, the other state should not come. Oh yes, they don't come in this okay. time. Now those that have taken a chance, if Ogun and Anoyo uh, produce the first state, obviously when they are going out, Ogun they and Anoyo will not. They, 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 only four, four. And the two that wins this time, next time, obviously we have only two left. These are things that can be done by arrangement, and and I talk of maturity and civilization. These are the things that will make people to see it. You have to be liberal. You have to be magnanimous. You have to be, to be willing to submit to law. You cannot say, might is right. Because your yours are very major for No! They should see those that don't have that opportunity of being too large. And of course, when you talk about restructuring, there was a boundary adjustment. I was in a meeting with the Yoruba Council of Elders, where the Kogi people and the a quarter of people say we are part of West. That cannot be absolutely right about Kogi. Yoruba is not as large as the Ain. But in uh, Quara. in Quara, I understand the Yorubas are eighty-five percent, and then the Fulanis there are eighty percent or fifteen percent. <laughs> so, okay, and they are the one ruling there. These are the things. It's a matter of maturity and time. Time cures everything. The problem in Nigeria is that we want to be like America today. Since 1776, they've been there. When Nigeria came together, Amalgamation was only 1914. And today, we must know that people who are talking about restructuring are actually looking at it. I, not a politician, but I was appointed in the present president, appointed almost by a state of everybody is full of me. Is that right? These are the things that make me give you to add to that it. If you have fear in your mind, let us go and read the census and see whether the north is more than the south or not. These are the things that the colonialists left for us. Lugard himself said it. 
if you allow the Yorubas to say the way they are, the rest will be looking at them on top. And that's why the English man does not like. You see, they created this problem for us, and we, those of us who are not civilized enough, in Bible, they created enmity, seeming enmity between the north and the south. So, Iboni, Yoruba Wani, these are the create creations by the Britain before they left. Because they know that Nigeria as a country, when they are united, has a potentiality of being very great. They don't want this greatness. They don't want this greatness because they know. So let's look at this other side too. Which one do you think will have been easier for us to achieve? Presently, the Yoruba states are working on cooperation. Uh, development spilling from one state to the other and they are cooperating which can fast track and hasten up infrastructure and social development in the so-called Yoruba or southwest of Nigeria that is already on they officially have an association with the sectariat rather than build on this fast track this if we now begin to look at the ones people are agitating for the structure in whatever format which one do you think uh, is easier particularly when the perception is that the politicians who are in power the national assembly and the executive arm of government are not disposed to this and they are the ones who can do that no, I think we are rolling two things into one. You and I have never agreed on what do we mean by restructuring. We have, you've always taken away from it, it, That's why my question, because that is a problem, that no, has to be a problematic is, thing. No, is, but regional it, integration and yes, cooperation is yes, already on, yes. which appears to be, to be visible, working. working. Yes, so yes. why don't we just cling on to that? And because forget this one that has divided us which one it has position. not divided us the structuring has never divided us because we have been structured already we are only having some further inputs you and i have said we had western region we went back to some states we created some states then we created some more from um three three regions midwest went there who came in and made it 12. it was the started group of group of provinces yeah, yeah, on, made it 12. they made it 12. we had not whatever be the case we now have 36 states made up i mean broken away from the old regions delta has gone away from midwest what i'm saying is that we need to see that and jaw jaw not war war you see you can sit down as civilized people discuss issues look at the pros and the cons and come to a conclusion some of the things that we have not um, imagined now because they've not arisen when they do arise we don't say, i see i did not see from that angle you now educate me i now appreciate you once i am civilized i will appreciate the other man more but a rural person feels convinced and is convinced beyond conversion. That is not civilization. Civilization is seeing the other man's point of view, changing position with the other man, and seeing his point of view, and that can moderate your own view. If another man, for example, you had people from Middle that say, we are not Northerners. It is not intended to create enmity between the uh, Brahms and all, within with the Hausas or the Fulanis. No, but, they want to have self-determination. This should not lead to war. And when Masov and others were complaining, oh, we are being marginalized. Who is marginalizing who? If they have their own region, obviously some people will dominate. I had people complain about the Iber people in the West. A friend of mine was a lawyer in Nakure, and he said, ah, Iber is they are too advanced. They can't marry my daughter. He was a lawyer. We are together in the railways. <laughs> so it's a matter of prejudice. 
that has been there for some time, when you begin to live together and you begin to see the other man's action, his reasoning, you will moderate your views. And civilization plays a lot of um, gains on all this, and it moderates us, all of us, a lot. You see? But politicians are creating the prejudice. Hey, they are going to shoot you. When you say that, the other man does not have any background, he does not think of it, he swallows what the man was giving him, what has on, never. He's telling him, he swallows it. Okay, if you say politicians have created prejudice, but the truth about this whole thing is that let us assume that this view of restructure is what is agreed on, but it can never work. In fact, some people are saying you have to refer it to the constitution, right, which is true. And that means the National Assembly and the executive governor's presidency will be Play decide. Play decide. And as it is, yes. they have not shown signs of willingness to do all this. So are we not hit looking for water uh, on top of I the said something in my, one, one of my papers. I said, if the governors want to be selfish, you will not want it. Our man is here, is governor of his state. You now say he should go to Ibadan. Obviously, he's a human being. Self preservation. Why don't you make a book at the capital? Why don't you make a career in the capital? That argument will arise. But after sitting down and looking at the projections, what is the position? What will it, will it cost us? We already have the structures in one place, and it is easier to get to this place. It takes about number of the same number of hours to get to a battle now. If Abekuta is nearer, Oshobo is nearer, Akure is further away, but that's bound to happen. You don't talk, you talk about a person who is Newcastle or sorry to get to London. Sorry, man, is just after you know it's a greater London. The Newcastle man is up north. This is happening even in civilized advanced countries. How do we get to Cam Canberra in Australia? These are the things we have to look at and say that these issues cannot be run over suddenly. They have to be look, look at maturely and the other man's point of view has to be taken into consideration. What does what do we get from Iwa? The cocoa we have there, I said it several years ago. The, they said it in 1949, the cocoa research people said Iwa will produce cocoa good enough to be exported by Nigeria. Why don't you go there and see that Yewa is the area where cocoa will thrive in Nigeria. Put it here, Yewa, they will put it there. Go to Akure, where cocoa yam is the product. We go there. These are things that will happen when you are within and you are civilized, you are accommodating. An uncivilized man is, on, is, is, a, is not accommodating. He, tra I mean, he revels himself. By Lanche, conservatism. No. When you, all of you are talking about restructuring, it 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 involves many things, not merely merely cutting. No, you now ask questions. The Kwara man, where does he want to stay? Of of course, those who are governing them already will say no. We're going to stay on our own for service reasons. Let us look at what is good for Nigeria. Except we do that. Except we behave as civilized people. Anything, the present system will not work. Any new system will not work. Except. We decide to make it work. We deal with, with human beings. Yeah, but how do we get these two set of people, the politicians like you mentioned, and those who we have um, given the powers to act on our behalf? The, uh, uh, the, the, the lawmakers. At the, uh, at the, how do we get them to At the moment, the people who are there, when you talk, I don't, with all due respect, you won't compare that they say you show who is the doctor of medicine. With a many new compu with school certificate and money to pass school certificate. You see, you see, when you are educated, you get more civilized, you get more accommodating, you look more forwardly than a man who is a stackling. Education plays a lot of a major role in, in a man's life. If you see a, a family that's getting on, one of them passed through the university, the university not to pass through any of problem. But if the two of them are civilized, I'm not sure. They will know that they are from different backgrounds, creative background, and they have to manage. They have to give and take to let the society go on, to let their unity, unity go on. In a society where you sit down in a committee of 12 people, there are 12 opinions already. It now comes to balancing. Am I right? 
He said, these are the boss. You people in particular, journalists, journalists, you are not helping us. Oh. You are making it look as if so restructuring means absolutely breaking. No, it is not absolutely breaking. It means uh, unification altogether. No, it does not mean that. It means that we want to start, we want to look at the position of things now and readjust. We believe that what we have now, even if it's good, we will get a better one. If it's better, we could go to the best one. That's the way to look at it and to make sure that somebody was talking of separate, I said, separate currencies. There's no sense in it. We had West African currency in those days. If it's still good for us, why don't we look at it? But the leader in, 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 in what do you call it? Put on here, we say, ah, I'm not superior to Nigeria. The one in Ghana, we say, ah, well, we are pa these are the things. And I tell you, every one of these countries, go back to the Englishman for consultation and they give you a bad advice which is for you swallow. They don't want us to go. They don't want Africa to go. No, since they've been in it, you see, I believe that if we destruction and we sit down, nobody wants to have his, his own position absolutely. He wants to adjust. He wants to give in a bit. I'm sure we can do it and we can do it by sitting down. And talking sincerely, as far as he was, was saying, said they are not sincere. Really, if we are sincere, a lot of things can be done. Who? Who is not? Fayoshi says Nigerian leaders are not sincere. He says okay, that Nigerian leaders yes, are, not, are, not, are not the Yoruba. Not the Yoruba. Are, are you? Oh, do you also think the Yoruba, those who are calling for it, are sincere? I believe they are sincere. Or oh, like uh, people like Pedro or Shabazz, or these people just want to make it to raking some things for themselves. General Obasanjo is in a class by himself. I've had calls to sit down with him. He's looking at Nigeria as one country because of his of his, his military background. The army has one line authority. It comes from the from the top and it goes down. It is not so when you are dealing with human beings, it's all right with the barriers. Is it? He has his views. He believes that that system can be run unitarily. I don't believe in it. I believe that we have different cultural background. In here, take Ogunse for example, we can adjust the Jebu man with the Yewa person, the Yewa person with those from, if I've been to the to East, Jebu East, and I found that they are predominantly fishermen and they have the forest. What are, you, what are you doing with it? We can have a lot of factories suitable for that area in that. Is it a matter of, as I said to you, it's a matter of adjustment, tolerance, accommodation. That's what we lack. Everybody thinks he's right and the other man is absolutely wrong. No. Balancing of views will help us and the social is the answer in this. I said, I'm a believer in it. I'm an advocate of it. From what you have also said, one will pick uh, some likely things with what General Obasanjo's position is change of heart and attitude. Mm -hmm. If you it have, it cannot come overnight. It cannot come over uh, overnight. I agree. Yes. But if you if you have our leaders have a change of mind, attitude, and from the words of you getting more civilized and looking at things broadly, would this not end these agitations? If you now have them, we also talk to you about appointments and then what is good for the other person not given to it. So if you have this change, attitudinal change with the other group of advocates, brother, that is what we need and not this physical or political structure. May I make a point that as I did my own mind, <coughs> and I said it in a paper that I read somewhere, we were nurtured in parliamentary system from 1861 to 1960, almost 100 years. After six years, we had the army coming in for 13 years. And they came in with this, the unitary constitution. 99 repeated it absolutely. absolutely. Even 204 has not done much. They are, they, they are passion, not amending. They are passion the constitution. It is because you were not sure for a hundred years is one thing. You tried another one. You tried it for only six years on your own. 
and you get it, get it finished. I believe that for now, for an African man that's not civilized, you make me the governor and say, yes, go and select your own cabinet. Of course, I won't call a person who will be antagonizing me. Of course, the person like, hey, keep quiet, and you keep quiet. And that's what the governors are enjoying now. Let us go to parliamentary system. These are part of restructuring, half of it agitated. Go to parliamentary system where we are not short for 100 years. Let everybody go and contest the election. If he wins, he comes to the house. Now, if there are three people from Ogun West and you want to appoint a commissioner from them, only one commissioner from them, you don't you can appoint the three, but you have been they have given you their candidates. <laughs> Not your own candidates, they are being their candidates, but those three are the ones, the best they have to do, out of which you appoint your, your commissioner or minister. But this broad system, I can go back and pick somebody who lives in Shokoto. Yes, he's a Yewa man, because I knew him. We were mates. That's the evil of this presidential system. That's why I can never support it. I believe in parliamentary system. It works better for an African. All right, yes, citizens forum this Monday morning, the first for the week, 11 day of September 2017. We are looking at the restructured Yoruba agenda fallout from the Ibadan meeting. And we have with us a member of the Yoruba Council of Elders, Justice Demola Bakri, MFR, OON, sorry, Order of the Order of Niger. Oh, oh, and I'm sorry about that. Uh, you'll still be with us after the 10 o'clock news. Don't go anywhere. Some necessary things. You don't have to carry the gun. You don't have to go different ways before you restructure. All right, whatever your own opinion is, that's what you want to find out next on the different platform telephone numbers 0809. 86873444 and 0909146967 for those of you who prefer the telephone and of course you can also join us via the short code platform you type ROCK that's the first thing when you are typing you type your comment questions whatever it is include your name and the area in which you are sending it uh, from and send it to the number 321 Two zero again, three two one two zero. That's the number to send those short code messages to after you have them. And of course, the social media platform, our Twitter handle is at Rock City FM, and of course, our Facebook is also working at Rock City FM Facebook fan page. That's where you post your comment. But quickly, too, it's important to let us know that we will not take insult or abuse from any individual or personality as we make your comment. Please do not come up with claims that you cannot sort and say this is very important. We are talking about unity and cohesion. We don't want something that will divide us. We don't have the right to abuse or outrightly malign or lie against anybody. Please. Thank you, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Uh, it's your son speaking. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Good morning, sir. You're welcome. It's a good morning, sir. Thank you. Very cool yes, today. Sir. Yes, sir. sir I, I, we keep on blaming our colonial masters, sir, for what befalls us, or is befalling us now. Yes. I have a different opinion, sir. Yes. Because these colonial masters colonized India. Yes. 70 years ago. Yes. Pakistan broke away. Yes. And then at independence, and Bangladesh broke away. Yes. I am talking to you now, sir. India is the nuclear club. Yes. Pakistan is the nuclear club. Yes. But Bangladesh is only bad boy in the group. Yes. They are not complaining, sir. Yes. How come we are complaining? We have still been colonial masters. We can't repair our own colonial masters. How come the Indians are not talking about colonial masters? How come the Pakistanis are importing drugs from Pakistan? And when we spend so much time colonial masters, Colonial master, colonial master. How come, sir? Something is wrong with us. I don't think he's a colonial master. Something is wrong with us. I don't think it's a legal system. It's because we are bad. There is nothing else to that. We are bad. And until
until we look at it and keep the colonial masters, we may never get anywhere. Number two, sir, the part of this thing, uh, agenda, in quotes, because my wife was not there. So, we <laughs> not in Yoruba. We spoke for all of you. Did you hear that? Yes. He, uh, just back he said, we spoke for all of you. <laughs> okay, sir. Sir, for example, now you have Yoruba, they say they're going to have zones, the constitution to apply. And then we now have our own constitution in South South. And then, sir, that is cacophony now. So that's the side that before you, when you, in, in Yoruba, now you close your eyes. And when you get to the Ebola, they say, open your eyes. Sir, that is a recipe. Who is going to conduct, finance this constitutional arrangement, sir? Well, we don't have money to pay salaries. Who is going to finance it? That's the real, who bears the cash? It's okay to say, oh, we have constitution. We will do this one and do that. We sit down. We can never sit down together, sir. Sir, if we now have that, I can assure you, the Owus will say they're not the bad. I hope you know that. Owus are not the bad. They will want their own constitution. Then we are, what, why? Why don't you say, the problem is not with the ordinary Nigerians, sir. It's me and you, the allies. Who are fomenting trouble right. where they hold the whole thing? It's not the Nigerian average Nigerian. Thank it's you. people who, don't, who want to talk, but they cannot talk. They say it's structuring. Thank you. You are approaching your two minutes. Thank you very much, sir. All right. Okay. Uh, let's have two calls. Uh, just about uh, please take morning. note. Morning. Yeah, good morning, Honorable Bakari. My name I'm not Bakari, I'm Bakri. Correct yourself. Bakri, Bakri. Oh, that's better. Yeah, that's better. Okay. <laughs> yeah, my name is Richard Johnson. Oh um, yes, I think from Lagos. Hello? Is it from Lagos? No, 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 from my purple side. I see, I thought you were from Lagos. Yes? Yes, no, no, no. no. Uh, I think there is something of a thing we are talking about. If the Yoruba nation will be here and start it, I think other nations of Nigeria will emulate us. First and foremost, we have to remove some impediments. What are these impediments? Local government of origin, state of origin, these things have to be removed from all our funds. Instead of that, let's ask you where you are from, Iluel, Omolubonia, put the name of the town and the Agoleni, put it there, so that people will know that you are true original son of a Yoruba land. I was, I was born in Abekuja, but not sure did you know. Yes, it was here also. You see, uh, somebody from Oyo will tell you, uh, I should be Oyo Larry, and somebody from my town will tell you, a body that body coco berry, and all these things are impediments that things that are not. Yeah, not. By the time we remove them, then we become one entity and one united mm -hmm. Yoruba nation. If we can do this, other states have emulated the Yoruba land is copy us and emulate us so that we can have this destruction of the thing we are talking. It's a state of the mind where the structuring has actually taken place. But the state of the mind is what is happening now. Thank you. Good morning. Okay. All right. Uh, thank you. Yes, your call is also important. Let's add it. Morning. Good morning. Yes, sir. Thank you. Good morning, uh, our dear Dutch. Good morning, Kaili. I greet sir. Uh, you really talked our uh, mind. You've spoken for the Yoruba, sir. Uh, but may I ask you, sir? Most of these leaders are... Okay, uh, Kade, we permit you to call back. Hello? Hello? Yes, you are on here. You are on, we can hear you. Hello? Uh, good morning, I am Emoki from Ayatolu. Thank you, sir. I greet you, my dear Jesse Thank you. You see, the issue in Nigeria is insincerity. If we are sincere, Nigeria shouldn't have gone so far as we are now, we are finding ourselves. And the only answer to it is a restore story. So that are not, those that doesn't want the restore story are, do, are, are the ones that doesn't mean well for Nigeria. They are the ones who want, I am sorry to use that language, that we should insist, we should find our ground, we should be firm and see that the story is the answer. God bless you, God bless us. All right, uh, let's move away. Joseph Bakri, your Well, um, as for Taiwo and your body, I think we are the same wavelength. He agrees with me that the presidential system is what is 
it's ex too expensive and it's not good for us. I believe in parliamentary system. And I said that we don't have to select people from outside. It is everywhere in the, in the house that we make ministers. So we are not paying to, in two ways. You pay those in the house to make laws. You pay another set to, to execute. Whereas members of the cabinet could come from the house. So I believe in the parliamentary system and I agree with you entirely. The only thing is that our people have to be more educated about all these systems. None of them is absolutely bad because if they work in other countries, she will be able to work in her own country. I am, however, a believer in parliamentary and I agree with you entirely. The colonial system that I'm blaming, if you read, I think Professor Smith or so, who spoke about the census. We have a lopsided census today in any part of the world geographically the coastal area is more populated than the hinterland it is the reverse in nigeria why there's something is wrong somewhere and democracy is a matter of number that's why i believe that that's why we are blaming the colonialists and they've admitted it that they did it deliberately because the southern will advance too early if we deal with the northerners sincerely you will see that they are as good as most of us, but they have planted enmity between the north and the south. So it's difficult for us to unite. And I'm sure that God that cures every, every sickness will surely cure us from this um, difference of opinion. The constitution is not a problem, it is the operators. And I disagree with you about the issue of the constitution. We had the Western Region Constitution. Apart from the federal constitution, we had the Western Region Constitution. I have a copy in my house, 1963. So we can have constitution in the state. It depends upon what area it covers. Already there's the um, concurrent list, there's the exclusive list. So there's nothing wrong with having our own constitution separately. It does not mean that you become an enemy, if you go to Ondo, from a guy, you become an enemy. Not at all. So I think we are misunderstanding the whole situation. Well, I don't know the quarrel Mr. Johnson has with uh, knowing where you come from. The Yoruba say, There are some any things that you want to do only for your people and you can tolerate outsiders. At the same time, I believe that if I live in Aetoro, I'm an Aetoro man. And we should look at residence and not place of birth or place of origin. I, I think that, that's what you want. Okay. So, Richard, I agree with you. And it's part of the problem we have is our backwardness. A civilized person does not care where you come from. Most of the people in England are Jews. A Jewish man is not an Englishman. He has become mm. English and he rules. Kyle David, I could not get you. I'm okay from my age mm. You are not at the same wavelength. When you talk of insincerity, there are times when we get selfish. You care about where I come from. What have they done for Babura? Where I come from? What have they done for Bukiono? Where my mother comes from? That is a weakness in us and it's because we are not matured, we are not quite civilized yet. When we get more civilized, I'm sure it's a matter of time that will be cured. And then you agree with me that we have to restructure. Yes, we have started. There are six regions already, whether they are the ones or not, we have got six regions and it depends upon how we look at it, how we embrace it, how we operate it. We can have six regions and still not be a good country. We can have three and still not be a good country. If we have ten countries in one and we are sincere and we are objective, obviously we can be better than we are today. But I believe we have to restructure things as they are today when you have a system where the population is taken and it's not properly taken. If you restructure, you see how the same problem. We have to have a lot of sincerity. Let the Hausa man see himself as a Nigerian and not a northern Nigeria. Let the Yoruba man see himself as a Nigerian and not a western Nigeria. These are the little new things that have been created in all of us. I worked in the north and most of my friends were Igbos. We worked together in the north. I didn't see anything wrong in the individual. I was eating with Ellen Dickey most of the time. He comes from Asaba. <laughs> I don't go out with the Yoruba boys. So I think with education, 
with maturity, uh, diseases will be cured bit by bit. Thank you very much. Okay, let's check out the messages. What is your position on a constitutional arrangement of two tiers of government, of the federal government and the local government only? Kayade from Randa sent in that one. Okay. You want to react to any of the issues raised? Well, much of this thing, talking about what we mean by the structuring, and which area should be restructured? Which area should be restructured? Qualities, boundaries. I think where any time I have gone out spoken, I've said that we have started. We have it appears now by accident or by design that six zones, regions, or states have crystallized. If they are crystallized, what do we make of them? Do we have governors in them? Do we have residents and district officers as we had in the colonial days? These are little things that we can look at, and as I said to Dele on this program, let us sit down and look at what is best for us. There is no absolute answer to these problems. We have to look at them and get objective. And most of you have mentioned the point of sincerity. A lot of insincerity operates in our society. If we get more sincere, and I'm sure that we can get there much more quickly than we are doing. We've been on this now for about 57 years, and we'll see where we are. Okay, for the Twitter handle, we have this one from Bilonia Ajishape. Oduduwa Nation is here. I will start, I will state it um, on First TV, Western Nigerian TV. Um, built the first tallest building and then the great universities and had free education. Then for Adekunle Kende on the Twitter handle, restructuring is identifying the great areas in our political systems and then suggest alternatives and adopt the best option that can stimulate speedy growth. Gab Kunle. Okay, for Akurede Kamil, we all want the country to be restructured, but the Southwest leaders should be wary of people like, okay, who are calling for Odudua Republic. Then Adekule Kende, restructuring is the only answer. Going for part-time legislature as against the expensive That's by right. legislature and choosing federalism as against presidential system. And Akurede Kamil, sir, what's your take on the absence of most governors in the southwest at Ibadan? Some porters believe they don't want to offend APC chieftains. And then what do you have to say on the assertion that the ruling party doesn't believe in restructuring? That's still from Akurede Kamil. Now we have this from Abayomi Babalola. Restructuring now is like putting the cart before the horse. We need to reorientate ourselves and minds before system restructuring. And then will rearranging a scattered room be the solution and leaving the troublesome children to continue without reorientating them? That's still from Abayomi Babalola. Then Yemi Da Vinci is on this one. I am a firm believer in the notion that if Nigeria does not restructure to regionalism, it will eventually collapse. I support re restructuring. Abayomi Babalola sent in another tweet. I noticed that a majority of the proponents are either ex-political office holders of those who aspired and failed, while the current holders are mute. And after restructuring, those that looted the country into recession will still be in charge, changing clothes for occasion, but intent. That's still from Abayomi Babalola. Then this one is from Yemi Da Vinci. I don't support the banner meeting of last week as it seemed to have been championed by disgruntled politicians. That's according to Yemi Da Vinci. Okay, that's his work, sir. Uh, just restructure for now is like changing your plot for the occasion. All these are uh, comments, and I, and I see them as personal opinions. You see, you can never have an absolute answer to the question being raised, the structuring. And as I said initially, most of us do not even know what we mean by it. And I said, basically, if you change your door to a window, you have restructured. If we go back to parliamentary system, we have restructured. If we now say your resources are yours, keep them and pay something to the Fed as against Federal taking everything and distributing restructuring. So that is a matter of sitting down and looking at what do we really mean. But basically, to restructure is to change the system. And 
I am for parliamentary system and not for presidential system. I don't believe in full-time legislation. What laws are they making? They are taking our money and, and as somebody said, they said they are not prepared to disclose what they take. Why? They are spending our money to pay salary and allowance. They should tell us because the source is from us. It's your tax and mine. And what you get from our oil and oil that they are spending recklessly if they are sincere. Oh, what laws are they making that are so new? You don't make new laws again. You're only amending the old ones. That doesn't take any time. Take your paper home, read it, come back once or twice a week, do something and get back. Take your season allowance and not this fat, fat allowance that they are taking. New car for everybody. Somebody was running a Pigeon 404. Now goes there and rides a Prado. All those things are not good. They are not good for this country. Politicians should sit down and love this country more than they are doing today. That's my complaint against them. Nobody is it to say that those who are talking are these noble people. What do I want in this life again? I thank God. At 86, I think I'm done. Anything that comes now, I will accept. Okay, what do you also make of the fact that each time this meeting is held, yes. the sitting governors are not there? It is because there is no, 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 party, no party discipline. The governors are not about their party. In the days of our law, you dare not no, come to Do you think that appears to be the position of APC? Because that's what uh, some people have thought, that APC itself is against restructure. They've told us the president did not promise Nigeria restructure. APC has not said so openly. People are just suggesting that they don't believe in it, but they are in action. And the trouble is that do how many people really understand what we are asking for? I'm not an APC man, I'm not a PDP, I don't believe in, I'm a, I believe in politics, but I'm not a party politician. I'm a politician, not a party politician. That's what that's the, the difference. So I don't support any party absolutely. But I believe that a party man cannot just talk off cuff without having the party discipline. You must, only your party can talk on behalf of these things. And until there's a consensus or at least an agreement pro or, pro, pro or con on an issue, a, part, a, man, a man doesn't talk in the, If there is discipline, you cannot talk. In this of our law, you don't just talk of, you are of the party. But there is no discipline now. Money is the order of the day. Yeah, one more question. Should the Yoruba ask for the grand issue? I don't believe in that. Okay. I believe in waste. All right, so we will we open. Okay, you are Mrs. Yet most of these leaders, senators, governors, and the rest of the leaders practice sabotage. So how can this um, rumbling be addressed? What's your take on this? Okay, that's um, Kaya Diolumide asking that question. Then we have this from Omola Olutunde. The operators of the system should be tutored to know the type of um, system we operate properly. Restructuring is inevitable. And that's from Omola Olutunde. Good morning, sir. How do we react to the western region of your days as a state council in Akure? I am from <laughs> Iragbiji in Osho State and I've lived in Abelkota for 35 years. But do I have the same right to contest elections? Sir, we have been so disjointed. Ademola Oladusu is asking that question. Then we have this from Abdurashid Okinla from Abelkota. To me, Baba, your presence adds some um, credibility to that gathering because of the type of person I know you to be. But sir, without Ashiwa Jubola Tinubu and Babo Basanjo, I can't understand how far it will go. Then I came from Ifo. It's better to fight a war and lose than to give up. I traveled to Zamfara State last week and I went around the whole state. Gentlemen, do you know that the population of the whole Zamfara State is not even more than the population in Abelkuta? And I said to myself, we need to rebuild. But since the North rejects the call, then what are we clamoring for? Because they dictate what happens in this country. That's from IK from Ifo. And then this one is from Alhaji Busura from Kuto. Without restructuring the polity, we're only postponing the evil day. An example of the needs for restructuring is the lopsided population figure that mm -hmm. is put out by the government that there are more people in the hinterland than the coastal areas. This is against the norm worldwide. I agree with the guest. Nigeria is not working as it is now. We must restructure for the country to move forward. 
That's from Al Haji Busura. Just back in, please. Well, my reaction is wholesale. All of you are agreed that we should restructure. And somebody mentioned an issue that's worrying me census. And I said it several times over. This is the only country where the hinterland is more populated than the coastal area. Why are we different? And somebody has said, God created three people, the black man, the white man, and the Nigerian. You see, that's the problem that we have. And you have always hit on the point, all of you, insincerity of leadership. When people are greedy, they will eat from their enemy's pot. Some people swallow bad pills, which they don't agree with, because of money. And we should try and educate people to be contented. There is lack of contentment. A person whose structural position in life is only a right to one house, wants to build five. Because the layer you do has got a house in Abekuta, he has got one in Aetoro, he has got one in Ota. You are not, we cannot all be the layer you do. You cannot all be the Molabakri. But all of us, especially Nigerians, I think everybody should be at the same pedestrian. God does not make the world like that. Even between if, 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 um, Esau and Jacob, he created a difference. One was hairy, one was not, from the same womb. So I believe that Nigerians have to be more sincere, and this issue of restructuring, as, I'm a believer in it. Let us look at it and see that, one, get correct census of this country. Let the federal government be a weak center and not a very strong center dominating and dictating. Let us develop at our own pace. We all different background, different approach to life, and different development, different pace of development should be the order of the day. Restructuring, restructuring, restructuring is the answer to the problem in this country. We have to restructure. So I just let them know that uh, you only cited example. I don't have a house in any of those three places. In any of those three places, you have mentioned. All right, uh, let's just add two calls to it. Just two. Let's see who those two will be. And check out the messages. Hello. Hello. Good morning. 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 I like the unit of noise, my name. Thank you. I'm calling for my reactor in your movie. Thanks for Baba on the party. I'm this Baba. I want to help us to to educate I mean speaking some of the enlightened people. You don't understand what it means that you don't need to be Baba. If you say that you fight in the Yahoo world during the because they have the historic control. They are controlling the resources. Thank you. All right. Just uh, a call morning. more. Morning. I'm carried back. All right. Let me quickly do this in one minute. Um, even though I have written a question, two questions to Papa, but um, I still want to claim in that question, sir. Um, refabricating of restructuring, it keeps occurring every other day. This is what we are still doing now. You can even see most of the governors, the national assembly, the senators, or whatever is uh, uh, House of Representatives members, they collect all the amount of money in salary. 
yes, they destroy everything that we're supposed to probably share among ourselves. That's exactly what I'm looking at. It's, they are saboteurs, if I may put it that way. How do you, I mean, probably address that situation so that we'll be able to follow you? We only see you as the only sincere person among those people that were in Ibadan. Because the reason why I'm saying is that most of them collected money during the last confab, which was inaugurated by Jonathan. And uh, we could not believe in those people any longer. That's why we have our fear now. But no, we could have people like you that we come on board now. Mm -hmm. People talk about the passenger, and you see our passenger has gotten to a level that uh, we cannot even imagine. Um, uh, what Kadi, thank you. He said he was his. All right, thank you. Let's check the messages. For the Twitter handle, we have this one from Abayomi Babalola. Well, mm -hmm. with due respect, sir, you are now talking about um, contentment, mind of true service, patriotism. Should it be preached now and not greed? Then, Kano Dokubo and some other Yorubas never asked for a structure when GEJ was dishing out um, like his. Now the table has turned around. Yemi Da Vinci, the issues are quite um, straightforward. I have no idea of doubt in the Yoruba agenda. Nigeria must restructure or balkanize. Then Abayomi Babalola again, a current office holder knows that um, knows what they are enjoying and to restructure now will close the door on all these undeserved benefits. Then Mr. Ayodo, we can have the Ibado as the executive capital while Lagos will be the legislative capital and a career as the judicial capital. Okay. That's um, Yemida Lynch <laughs> suggesting okay, that. Yeah, I believe in regionalism, in parliamentary system, and true federalism. That is my definition of restructuring. That we have Leo Leshi. Whether restructuring or not, politicians should have mercy on us. I won't say more than that. Thank you and good morning. That Nigeria must restructure, but the people in political office will never support it because they are of their own self anachronism then oladapo i would too if we have different actors on the stage okay then let me start with you kenny additional that's what i would have said initially to say that what i have said there's no coherent in it does not show respect to the speaker please show your words next time i think except for the so such statement in any event, we are talking about restructuring and we've itemized so many things. And I said that we have started by acting or by design, we have got six regions now. They can redefine, they can adjust the boundaries. Then, uh, I believe in anybody keeping the resource control. I believe in it. And that's part of what makes restructuring desirable. Not that they take the oil from the east to Abuja. They take the cocoa from the west to Abuja and then send PG, uh, peanuts back to the owner of the, or the original things. But the owner can keep and manage his own industries and contribute to run the federal. For example, foreign service and security, defense. These are federal issues. I don't believe in a federal road in a state. <laughs> These are many things that we have to look at. And I, as I said, it's still now Jojo and not war war. We should not allow this thing to break us down. It should bring us together. Let us sit down from time. There can no end, no end to discussion. Because if you're able, and as I said, we look at education. You have to educate your people. Let them have appreciation for use of language. These are the things when they are together and you sit down and you are speaking at the same level in the same vein, you can get a lot of things repaired. There's nobody who might be that's so selfish. Everybody wants the best for himself for his start. But education makes it to be a bit liberal. You can have some, I can have some. Not I, Muna takes all. And this question about who leads Ogo State is a matter of time. Amos is there for today. It's not necessarily the person who will be there forever. His time is going on. In 1919, he wouldn't be there by a constitution. And of course, he has become a leader of opinion in the state, having served as a governor. You cannot put away Daniel. He has served in this state. Raji Rasaki, these are people who have passed through Ogun State and they know what they do. They can always talk. You don't have to agree with them, but at least they know a bit about the state and they can come together and 
restructuring will be the answer. Restructuring is the answer. Restructuring is the answer. Typical of a day like this, we will always be short of the time. We will have love to continue, but definitely, definitely, we have to end it here. I say thank you to you once again, sir. Justice Demola Bakri, OON, a member of the Yoruba Council of Elders at 86. You still have that strength uh, to push on. Uh, really, like he said, many of these things are not for people like him. I pray that he lives longer than that, but how many of those things if they get better will he enjoy? Anyway, uh, I also appreciate all of you who've been here, who've been a part of it via phone, via tweets, via the short code and the Facebook, and of course, those of you that will just patiently listen and enjoy it. I say God bless you all. God bless Nigeria. God bless Rock City. Dele Ayodo is my name.